Hi everyone. I'm wondering if you've seen the new attachment control. I know we blogged about it, but I just wanted to show you up close. Please give it a try as soon as you can. I'm going straight into a SharePoint list here, and I'm going to customize the form for this list of buildings. So I'm just going to edit, and then up here at the top, this is the default form. I'm just going to click on the SharePoint default form right here. I'm going to click on Customize which will enable me to customize that form and we'll allow that to load and I'm going to show you how you can use the new attachment control now the control has been there in a read-only state for a while now but now you can actually use it to upload images and to delete images that have been uploaded as attachments to that list item so I just can't wait to show you and I figured I'd do a short video so uh, Power Apps is just about done building our app for us. And this way, we have a form that's like 80% done. We can just make our modifications. I love that we don't have to start from scratch. So while that's building, you'll notice on the left-hand side here that it says back to SharePoint, and it also has this SharePoint integration. This are, these are clues that you are in customized forms as opposed to having generated an app or fully functional app with three screens uh, in that we did before. This is just for this list item and it's paying attention to which list item we have selected in SharePoint. Now I'm going to go ahead and select that form from the left navigation here and click on building addresses, which is the name of the SharePoint list. So whatever your name is will be there. And then down here, I'm going to get rid of the things that I don't need. I'm going to take out a few of these things. And then after I remove those, I'm going to add the attachments control. So you'll see that there are two attachment uh, generated controls. There's the has attachments, which allows you to solicit a Boolean answer to the question, does this list item have an attachment, true or false, and the actual attachment control. So I'm going to add the actual attachment control to the form. Basically, that's all I have to do. I just have to make sure it's added, and then I will go back to SharePoint and save and publish this change. This attachment control is designed for forms. And so the way you add it is to make sure that the, the checkbox in front of attachments is checked in all your form controls. You won't be able to have the same functionality outside of a form. Now you can use it in your apps as well as your customized forms. As long as they are in a form control, you can do it in both of these. Okay, so let's give it a try. Let's go ahead and edit this form item. And it will open up our brand new customized form. And it has the attachment control here. And there's nothing attached here. You know what I'm going to do first? Let's edit this list view so that we can see whether or not these items have attachments without opening them. So I'm going to go to the attachments and I'm going to make that column number one which will give us an attachment icon if one of these list items happens to have an attachment. Okay, oops. Okay, so now we have the attachments column as a first column, and there are no attachments on this list right now. So let's go ahead and use our customized form and play with our new attachments control capability. there we go on the page I'm gonna click attach file notice it gives me a way to browse I'm gonna browse to my desktop and pick up that building photo and now that is attached to the file now it's nothing has happened here in the background you notice until I press save so it's important to remember that when you do these attachments to say to press save because that's when they'll actually get attached 
but I'm going to go ahead and attach another file as well. Let's attach a PowerPoint file. Okay, so now we have two files. Again, we have nothing here yet, but I'm going to press save. And now you'll see that I have an icon in front of that row that says I have attachments. If I click on this to just view it, you'll see the attachments there in the view. And if I click on either one, it will actually uh, allow me to download it and open it on my computer. PowerPoint is opening in my right screen here. So I'm just going to pull it over so you can see there's the PowerPoint. It opened up in my second screen. And it is downloaded to my computer. All right. So now I'm going to come out of here. And let's do it one more time. Let's go into this one and let's do edit. And let's attach another file. So I'm going to attach the era text file and then I'm going to save. And now both of them should get the attachment icon and yay, they do. Now if I decide, oh, I uploaded the wrong thing, I meant to upload a photo, I can always go back into there, edit all, delete the attachment just by hitting the X over there, which I can also re-undo if I want to undo the remove. Or I can go ahead and attach the file that I was supposed to attach, which happens to be the picture of the building. And then I save. And that's how the new attachment controls works. It is so easy to use, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy using it. Now, to give you a couple of best practices, beware that large list attachments can impact the performance of your SharePoint list, especially if the list is very wide and you have a lot of lookup or complex fields. So help your users to understand that their attachments should be controlled. Now, just to show you kind of how that works, if I go into edit here and let's go back into customize this form, I want to show you how you can help out with this scenario because it is common to see like overly large files added to lists. And if the list gets into the 3000s, 4000s, and it has a wide amount of columns, it can, it can impact your SharePoint list performance as well as your app performance. So you want to be aware of this. And whatever you can do to help your users by setting policies or giving them other guidelines so that they don't upload files that are too heavy would be helpful at overall for everything. Um, but I do want to show you that this control does have some properties unique to this problem. So I'm going to click on the attachments control. And you notice that it itself is, um, is a control. In this case, because we generated this by, uh, by ourselves, this is data card value 12. All right. Now, if I want to look at the properties of this, I can look over here in my property attachments area, and you'll notice I have a couple of uh, fields I can actually do here. I can do a max attachments. So I could say, okay, the maximum amount of attachments you can put in this list for each list item is three, right? And then if we look at this, this is the maximum attachment size in megabytes. So the app maker can actually say, okay, for this list, we don't want anything bigger than seven megabytes, okay? And so by using these particular properties, you help prevent performance impacts when people get crazy and start uploading really heavy files. This is not the place to upload, for instance, a video attachment, right? That's, you know, several gigabytes in size. So I hope that was helpful to you. I, I hope you'll enjoy playing around with that. Please give us your feedback and let us know what we can do to make it better. And I'll see you at the next video. Happy power apping.